Hi, this is Zach Mead from Zach's Traders Cafe with a look at some single stocks on Friday the 16th of September. Starting off with AstraZeneca and a beautiful ricochet off the 50-day moving average at 48.89 this week as well as the floor of this rising June trend channel. Uh, the view at this stage is while there's no end of day close back below the 50-day line and the floor of the channel, we could head towards the £60 level. Uh, we're also back, by the way, the 200-day the, uh, moving average has been rising for the last couple of months. And in fact, there was a golden cross between the 50-day and 200-day moving averages in late July. So pretty nice setup there at AstraZeneca. Burberry is next, uh, surprising riser of the day uh, today. Uh, trying to break back above the 50-day moving average at 1,302. Uh, if we can do that, then the, we would project the shares up to 14.10, 14.20, which is the top of this uh, rising trend channel from uh, the end of May. Uh, otherwise, maybe one would look to be buying a dips towards the 200-day moving average at 12.25. Back below the 200-day line, though, would uh, delay or negate the upside scenario. Next up is Evraz, and uh, here you can see that uh, it's been a second higher low for September above the 120 level, the low, initial low 123, second low uh, 126. Uh, one will break the middle, uh, uh, the, the middle of the W there at uh, 143, but we can do that over the next uh, few sessions. One would then be looking for a retest of the best levels of the year uh, at 175 plus. Uh, initial target, what, the 50-day moving average at 152. Uh, onto Hurricane Energy, smaller company in focus at the moment, shares going all over the place. Beautiful gap to the upside through the uh, 10 and 20 day moving averages um, and mid move consolidation here at the moment. Uh, really does look like a very exciting uh, technical play here. Heading for probably the 50 pence uh, uh, level, uh, which would be the top of a rising trend channel you can draw from uh, July. Support uh, at the 10 and uh, 20 day moving averages towards the 32 pence level while we're above that 50 pence. Is probably the minimum target given the way that we've gapped up uh, higher so well in recent days. Uh, Pantheon Resources um, was interviewed here on Tip TV yesterday. Uh, trying to get back above that 100 level, uh, 100 pence was the my line in the sand as far as recovery. We're actually, today looking rather more positive, positive anyway in the sense that we've broken above the 10 day moving average at 90 pence. Uh, you've got an ag aggressive uh, buyers would have a, an, an opportunity to be go long or be long above the 10-day line with a stop loss just below it and looking for an initial target at 117. If you're cautious, just want to see how this uh, situation closes uh, over the course of Friday's session. Ideally, uh, 100 plus would be uh, nice uh, before uh, going long there. A bit of bullish divergence there in the RSI window as well with that slightly lower uh, second low for... Uh, September uh, below 80 pence. So uh, interesting situation there, especially above the 10-day line. On to one of today's fallers. Uh, RBS uh, gap down through the 50-day moving average, which is one of my uh, favorite uh, sell signals um, for on a technical analysis basis. That would suggest that we're looking towards uh, a 160 target, uh, at least while we're below the 50-day average at 191. Uh, so reasonably tight uh, risk reward there. Only back above the floor of the gap at 193 really uh, delays or changes that uh, negative setup that we have there. Finishing off with the tallow oil, tallow, tallow oil rather, which uh, has uh, announced that it's discovered 70 million barrels of oil. Um, nice bounce for the shares above the 200-day uh, moving average of 206 pence. That's normally a very um, positive sign, a uh, buy signal in its own right. Uh, and obviously that came in uh, before today's news. Uh, the way you'd um, use that is really to suggest that uh, uh, there could be progress uh, within a rising trend channel from uh, the beginning of July. And uh, while there's uh, no end of day close back below the 200 day line, uh, we could head up to £2.50, which is the July resistance line projection. That's it from me. More updates at the same time on Monday.